guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl acid darling thank you guys so much for clicking once again if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and to all my ogs you know what to do comment down below let me know gang gang you asked and doggy has replied now ontario is set to start issuing um attestation letters i just got the update shout out to a lot of canada men you're doing such a fantastic job like i can't even believe how much digging and you know staying on top of the news he does so i'm going to be reading it out from his blog for you guys to um get enlightened okay i I know a lot of people have been waiting for Ontario updates. This is it. For those of you that are looking to school in Ontario um, in the near future, you might want to start writing down. Okay, so it starts by saying, um, looks like Ontario is ready to is ready for its PAL, which you call provincial attestation letters process. This was released today. The Ontario government is taking action requiring all publicly assisted colleges and universities to have a guarantee that housing options are available for in incoming international students it will also allocate 96 percent of study permit applications to publicly assisted colleges and universities so for their allocation 96 percent is for the publicly um, assisted um, colleges News went on to read, Toronto, in response to the federal government's cap on the number of international stu um, stu student study permit applications over the next two years, Ontario is prioritizing public post-secondary programs that will help prepare graduates for in-demand jobs that support Ontario's labor market needs. We are protecting the integrity of our province's post-secondary education system by attracting the best and the brightest international students to Ontario to study in areas that are critical to our economy, said Jill Dunlop, the Minister of Colleges and Universities. We have been working with post-secondary um, institutions to ensure international students are enrolled in programs to support pipeline of graduates for in-demand jobs on to say french language enrollment will also be prioritized as employers compete for workers with french language skills the government will work with um colleges and universities to support them in standing up and transitioning to programming that is aligned with labor market needs and supports ontario's economic growth most international students are seeking most international students seeking to study in Ontario must provide a provincial letter of attestation with their study permit application. This letter serves as proof that the applicant has been accounted for within the maximum allocation set by the federal government. To acquire an attestation letter to study in Ontario, students should contact the admission office at their Ontario post-secondary institution where they have accepted their offer of admission and intend to enroll students must also visit the ministry website for more information ontario will allocate 96 percent of permit applications to publicly assisted colleges and universities with the remaining four percent allocated to or allotted sorry to ontario's language schools private universities and other institutions Career colleges will not receive any applications. Career colleges will not um, receive any international student application. So um, applications will be al um, allocated to institutions based on the following criteria. Number one, prioritize programs in the following high demand areas. This is one of the things I suspected. And the reason I want to break it down is so it doesn't just go over my head. I suspected that people will start they will start prioritizing certain areas you cannot just come and spend twenty thousand dollars to study dancing theater language rocks you can't do that you cannot even you can't waste that kind of money so now they are they are being more specific and also i suggested that i or what would i say i speculated that colleges will want to even put priority on the courses that have high tuition the uh, um, science courses that um, cost more to study because if you're giving me only 5,000 people, I want to make the most of that number. Guys, let me know your thoughts, okay? So the province, Ontario, is looking at people, um, um, programs that are going to prioritize the following areas, skilled trade. Now, even though you're coming and you say, oh, I don't just want to study anything, the, the one that you want to study that is a trade should be an actual trade. Do you understand? A trade that is in demand. So that's for the um, um, colleges, you have health, human resources, STEM, hospitality, and child care. The second one is cannot, I didn't see business here. That is the part that we are still going to be talking about. So you need to look at the, this thing before you, you apply and ask your school. Okay. 
The second point is can't exceed the institution's tw um, 2023 permit level. So you must not exceed. If they gave Seneca only 500, you cannot exceed 500. Um, the third point is as a final backstop, the ratio of international permits can't cannot exceed 55% exclusive of high demand areas of the institution's 2023 first year domestic enrollment. So international permits should not be more than 55% and then they will take the maybe the remaining 45 should be domestic. To protect international post-secondary students and ensure that they have a positive and rewarding experience when studying in Ontario, the government is number one is taking action requiring all publicly assess, um, assisted colleges and universities to have a guarantee that housing options are available for incoming international students. Number two, invested over 32 million in 2023-2024 to support mental health of all post-secondary students. This includes funding provided directly to post-secondary institutions through multiple grants. Point number three, introduce the Strengthening Accountability and Student Support Act 2024 that would, if passed, help to en enhance the student experience by putting in place additional measures to support mental health, safe and inclusive campuses, also for increased transparency of fees benefiting all students, including international students. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It went on to say international students may apply for postgraduate work permits after graduating from an eligible DLI in Canada. Ontario approves DLI under the Joint Provincial Federal International Student Program. DLIs are eligible to enroll international students in programs of study six months in duration or longer as permitted on study permits issued by IRCC. Okay, um, this part you guys already know. As part of the changes announced by the federal government in January 2024, international students who begin a program at a publicly assisted college that is delivered through a private partner will not be eligible for a post-graduation work permit starting May 15, 2024. So those of you that were going to those schools, I've done several videos on it. I hope you're watching. Don't just pick a random school. Be sure to, if your school is a private school that is attached to a, a, a public school that is somewhere operating in one shabby place in Toronto, please know that you will not get work um, postgraduate work permit. So you're wasting your money. Do you understand? If you don't want a situation whereby you leave the country and you don't have anything, like you finish school and you cannot work, I've met some people that even before this announcement, they were paying to study at Toronto School of Management. It wasn't even a DLI. Say, eh, let me just enter Canada first. When I finish, I will go to another school. So you just want to waste 15,000, 18,000, 20,000 for no good reason. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So yeah, that's basically the update. And then quick facts. In January 2024, of course, IRCC announced changes to the International Student Program for 20, 2024 and 2025, including a cap on the number of study permits um, issued to international students, excluding international students in kindergarten to grade 12. So those of you coming with your children, they're excluded, as well as master's and doc doctoral degree programs. Also, another quick fact, um, 22 out of the 23 um, universities will keep applications at 2023 level. Only Algoma University will see a decline from its 2023 application. 11 out of the 24 colleges will keep application at 2023 level. Colleges with public-private um, college partnership and Conestoga College will see a decline. Guys, I have said it before, Conestoga has been targeted. M I've done a video where literally employers target it because they went from getting 5,000 people to packing 35,000. They just kept pushing and Conestoga most recently bought a hotel that they want to convert into study um, students like residents and they are trying their best but the greed with which they attacked last year and last two years was just uncalled for. It put a lot of eyeballs on them and they are paying heavily for the price because they are going to see a decline in acceptance. So they probably gave Conestoga the least amount of um, cap 
So for those of you that are going to different schools to put your application, if you get a rejection from Conestoga, please note that this is the reason. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, in the body of the post, Olu um, Femiloye seemed to write um, some key areas to focus on. He said, of course, Justin, we have some updates from the province of Ontario for international students. Swipe left to read, but some of the key areas here are Ontario is prioritizing post public post-secondary programs that will help graduates for in-demand jobs that support Ontario's labor market needs. You have seen the labor market needs as stated there um, by Doggy, who was like healthcare. You know, we have um, um, some trade trade jobs hospitality because we have hotels restaurants and the rest hospitality um they put also stem courses there and uh, um i think which other one did he even put there stem courses um hospitality child care yes health human resource also okay so those are the areas that he wants the second point that he put here is ontario is taking action requiring all publicly assess assisted colleges universities to have a guarantee that housing options are available for incoming international students remember i told you once that the dean of seneca was in the midst of i think um j boy and doggy and i was like see schools are going into different lobbying seneca has a residence a very big residence it cannot contain everybody but just the fact that they have it also puts them in a better light i am um, i think centennial has a residence there are schools that have like big residences that are of course well known they are even having plans to expand these are schools that are big enough to say you know what we this is what we have on ground they might not even have gone too far with the new expansion but the fact that it is on ground it gives the government the idea that okay you're doing your best to you know walk in the right direction so those schools are going to be rewarded ontario will um allocate 96 percent of the permit applications to publicly assisted um, colleges and universities with the remaining four percent to language school private school and other institutions career colleges will not receive any application however career jobs were one of the things that he was looking for do you guys remember skilled trade are one of the in-demand areas whereas there's no all allocation going to um the um, career colleges where they learn the skill trade so most likely maybe they're keeping that place open for only domestic people because i don't know guys let me know your thoughts yeah um, um career colleges will not uh, receive any al uh, allocation for international application so i don't know how they plan to solve that part the next one the fourth one is the allocation will prioritize programs in the following highly demand places like i said human health um health human resources stem hospitality child care skill trades but if you say you're not giving career college and you want skill trades so maybe they want um the regular colleges to push for skilled trade jobs which is going to be weird because they are not experienced as career colleges like if you want to learn wood making or something you might want to go to like a school that knows it although other schools are picking up guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section okay so the next one says to acquire an attestation letter to study in ontario students should contact their admissions office this is very important if you plan to study i'm telling you that for most colleges uh, september is already finished so if you still if you still haven't gotten admission just know that you should be looking at january um but i mean some schools that are not as popular might still have slots you can try your luck um they are saying that you contact your admissions office at the ontario post-secondary institution where um, you've accepted your um offer of admission and your intent to enroll so 22 out of the 23 universities will keep the application as a 2023 level that that is the amount of people that they got they will still keep it they will still maintain it only algoma college will be will see a decline i don't know the crime they committed but they are reducing their own amount 11 out of the 24 colleges in um, canada will keep their 2023 that's their last year um, enrollment number only 11 out of 20 of 24 so we are looking at 13 colleges that will not be getting the same number they will have maybe lower numbers then the colleges with um those ones that have partnerships that probably have like some um, campuses in toronto here and there scattered that they used to use and just get money those ones and conestoga will see the largest decline so this information is very important because it also helps you the person knowing what to decide and where to go it is very important for you to know that this that this attestation thing they are not going to prioritize if you're going to even go to conestoga note that conestoga might not have slots for business do you understand you have to do a stem course Nobody's going to priori um, prioritize business. I didn't see business there. 
do you get so i'm just i'm just trying to be as frank as possible i didn't see business there anything business uh, when they say skill trade i feel like you should go through your school um, um i didn't even see human resource which is weird go through your school program and look through it again if you can even call because at this point i'm sure schools will be able to should be able to advise you know it's not just enough to just allow the person the school should also be able to advise and say you know what go to this one choose this one or don't choose this one guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about all these announcements for me eh, i'm just happy that ontario has at least said something you understand because they have the bulk of the schools that are bringing so many international students so for them to have taken this long it put a lot of people um at, at an edge or how would i put it and then um, there you know that there are many people that are still waiting for may um um may like um enrollment there are many people that are, are waiting and the thing with may is going to be so tricky because they will have the lowest the lowest intake why because for some people they cannot even guarantee that the moment the attestation letter comes through with the visa agents another point will be maybe visa agents are going to be very 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 fast when it comes to um doing the application like visa agents should be going through it back to back fast 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 that's the only way that will say okay for these ones um there's no problem you can still meet may semester but if the visa agents are going to be taking their sweet time the way canada used to take sweet time it will not work so unless doggy can also tell ircc now you see the ones that get um attestation later please look at the application very fast if you're okay with it let's do this thing in four days five days so that they buy their ticket and they can show up at their colleges else may semester is going to be messed up in a lot of schools they are going to see reduce reduce numbers because it's, it's it's practically rush at this point okay guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below that's the update from ontario a lot has been happening and um i will try my best to keep you guys updated sorry that yesterday's video came out a bit late i was far from my phone and by the time i even uploaded the, the phone just just went dead so i had to um come back home charge it and put it up and i'm so sorry i have been on a roll and god has just been helping me so i was like instead of just saying you know what let me shift it i'm like no matter how late i'm going to put out the video and i want to thank you guys the ones that were able to still watch it if you have not watched it after this video please check it out um very fantastic information as always thank you so much for watching i'm your girl acid zali hope you enjoyed this video please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Why you see me dance so